Welcome, electronic video guests, to the outer limits of the trading card hobby, TTM. Through the mail, we seek to have the famous and the infamous sign the trading cards and photographs we send to them through the mail. Today, we have five such specimens to examine. Cinco specimens. <laughs> so if you like seeing envelopes being cut open, you've come to the right place. Sit back, relax, take a little break from college football, and enjoy the trading card hobby fun. Presented to you completely advertisement-free from the worldwide YouTube video airfield. Isn't that something? Now, before I bust open these TTMs, let me show you three great cards I received in the mail from a friend of mine down Alabama. Old John, thank you for sending me. Look at this one first. 1962 Topps Rocky Calavito. This is kind of one of the great forgotten sluggers of baseball history. Rocky Calavito. And what a year he had in 1961. Look at those stats for 61. That was some year in baseball with Maris and Mantle. Rocky Calavito and Norm Cash. Tremendous, tremendous years by some great hitters. Rocky Calavito, that is a, that 62 tops is a beauty. And Rocky Calavito, one of the greatest sluggers of all time. And then I got a Jack Morris rookie card. Look at that. Fantastic. Unfortunately, Blackjack don't sign TTM, so uh, we'll just hang on to this one. Maybe he'll change his mind. Maybe like the Grinch, his heart will grow a little, little bit bigger later on in life and he'll start signing. But we got a beautiful Jack Morris rookie card too. Thank you. And last but not least, the old linebacker from the Detroit Lions, Wayne Walker. And after his playing days were over, Wayne was a local sportscaster on, a, I think it was Channel 4 in the Detroit area for a long, long time. Wayne Walker, Detroit Lions legend. So we thank you, John, down Alabama, for these three great cards. Really appreciate it. And like I said, hopefully Jack Morris's heart will grow three sizes. All right, let's get to our TTMs. What do we got first? From Grand Rapids, Michigan? Mmm. Coming to us from the west side of the state by Lake Michigan, Grand Rapids. Let's see what we got. This is exciting. Got two cards. Beautiful. Look at those two cards signed by Mr. Brent Gates. We got, what is this here, a 1991 Classics Draft Picks. And we got a 1992 Topps rookie card, Brent Gates. He was the 1991 Big Ten Player of the Year for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. First round pick by Oakland. His best year was his rookie year. He hit 290 with seven home runs, 69 RBIs. Played seven years in the bigs, had a lifetime average of 264 with 25 home runs. Now, after his career ended, he returned to his hometown of Grand Rapids, and he coached the high school team to two state titles. 52 years old now, Mr. Brent Gates. Thank you for signing your 92 Tops rookie card and your 91 Classics draft picks. Thank you. That is a good way to start, old Brent Gates. All right, next we got something coming to us from the Capital District. Capital District. 
Maybe we finally got our Marjorie Taylor Green Auto. Let's see if she signed our card and sent it back to us. Nope, we got a Walt Williams Stadium Club. Look at that. Well, we're getting a few more basketball returns lately. Walt Williams, you guys remember him. He was a, a All-American at Maryland. His senior year averaged 27 points a game, 1992 All-American. He was the seventh overall pick in the 92 draft by the Kings. He averaged 12 points a game in his 10-year career. And he also had a small role in the terrible 1996 Whoopi Goldberg basketball uh, supposed comedy called Eddie. Thank you, Walt Williams, now 52 years old also, for signing this 1992-93 Stadium Club rookie card. Walt Williams, the old All-American from Maryland. That's a nice one. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Two good returns on a football Saturday. All right. We're rolling along to North Houston, Texas. North Houston. Ah, let's see what we got. Looks like we got our note back. If I can pull that out of here. It's stuck in there. Let me get the cards out before I damage them. i just yank this note out. It's stuck to the envelope. Look at these. Oh, this is a great return. Larry Durker, Houston Astros legend, player and manager, a true Astro legend. He pitched 14 years in the big leagues, 13 of them with the Astros. He made his major league debut in 1964 on his 18th birthday. And in the first inning he ever pitched in the big leagues, he struck out Willie Mays. Won 139 games in his career at a 3.31 ERA. 20-game winner in 1969. Two-time All-Star. And he tossed a no-hitter. After his playing days were over, he did TV and radio games for the Astros. And then he took over managing them from 1997 to 2001. He won division titles four of his five years. National League Manager of the Year in 1998. Unfortunately, could not get a playoff series win, though. 75 years old, Larry Durker. Good pitcher, good manager. Astros legend. Had a really, really fine baseball career. And this here, of course, is a 1966 Tops. And this is the 1970 Tops. Look at that. He pitched on his 18th birthday in the big leagues. Larry Durker. Two beautiful signatures on those cards. Those really come out nice. Thank you, Astros legend. Let me see. Oh, yeah, his note. Maybe he answered a question. Let's see here. Who was the toughest hitter you ever faced? He says, Joe Morgan. Was there any player you managed who was a big headache? <laughs> Several. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. He didn't want to name anyone, anyone in particular, but he let us know there were several who were a headache. Larry Durker, Astros legend. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. All right. Let's see what we got to us next. This one is coming to us all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada. From the Strip, no doubt. Las Vegas. What do we got out of Las Vegas, Nevada? Oh, that is a sweet return. Greg Vaughn. That is a beauty. This is one of those gold leaf. 1992 Gold Leaf, autographed by Greg Vaughn. That one looks really sweet, doesn't it? You guys remember Greg Vaughn. He was a pretty good slugger in his career. 15 years, 
mostly for the Brewers and Padres. 355 career home runs, including a 50 homer season in 1998 and a 45 homer season in 99. He was a four time All Star, and he had a home run off Randy Johnson in game one of the 1998 playoff series between San Diego and Houston. 57 years old, great home run hitter, great slugger, Greg Vaughn. Thank you. That Look at that 92 gold leaf. That is a sweet looking card, isn't it? Thank you, Mr. Vaughn. Now this last one here is coming to us from Gulfport, Mississippi. If you would like to send an item to be signed by Brett Favre and help support his Favre for Hope charity, email autograph at Favre for Hope. Now that we got a price list in here, it feels thick. I got a feeling he didn't sign our card anyway. What do you think? You think he signed his rookie card, or is he going to want some money? <laughs> Let's take a look. Is he going to be going into that Hall of Shame here in just a second? Let's pull what we got in here. What is that? What the heck? Is that the price list? Well, there is the Brett Favre Pro Set rookie card. He, we sent him, and it does not <laughs> look like he autographed. What a surprise. And what is this thing? <laughs> Look at this thing. We got a, a uh, what do you call these, promo card with a stamp auto on it or auto pen. I don't know what you call these. <laughs> Pro Look at Brett Favre sending me a nice stamped photo. I'm just saying. To my biggest fan, I didn't know I, I didn't know I was your biggest fan. Huh? I want to thank you for showing me so much support over the years. You could have just signed the card. That would have, that would have uh, been thanks enough. Fans like you have inspired me to give it all on the field. Stay strong, believe in yourself, and always push to be your very best. <laughs> like I said, you could have just signed the uh, card I sent you. Didn't have to go to all that trouble. <laughs> All right, well, actually, there is no price list, so technically I guess we're not going to put Mr. Favre in the Hall of Shame. We'd have to email this autograph at Favre for Hope. There is a 0.0001% chance I could finagle a free uh, uh, auto, maybe by f volunteering at his soup kitchen or something. Who knows, but... I'm sure if anybody does uh, email that, you're going to get a price list back. But since I didn't actually get one, I'm not 100% certain we're going to leave Mr. Farb out of the Hall of Shame for now. <laughs> we'll probably give this away at some point, so keep watching. Uh, I did happen to see, though, on eBay some autographed Farb rookie cards. Running about 30, 40 bucks in auction. I might try to get one of those. I'll keep you posted on that. Well, <laughs> that is it for the day. Brett Favre. I'll give that one last chance. Anybody wants to email. Autograph at Favre for Hope. Hope for the best on that one. Well, that is another TTM video. We're ready to hit the stop button. And dump this thing into the worldwide YouTube air fill. And God willing, we'll be back soon with another one. Until then, enjoy the rest of your life.